Okay, guys, welcome to Dave's LFC Chats, and we're going to have a lovely little chat here. Keith's with me, and we can curse on this one, and we'll deserve to curse on this one, because that was terrible yesterday. Merseyside Derby, first time since 99 that Everton, Neverton, we used to call them, have beaten us at Anfield. 2-0, I never thought I'd see today. What do you think, Keith? Yeah, this is it's not exactly going to be like a nice, cosy kind of fireside chat. Um <laughs> Like I don't think anyone is shocked. There's nobody going to be shocked by that result no, no, yesterday. No. To be honest, which is not 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 in their current form. Listen, the whole team. Listen, uh, uh, Twitter is just fucking mad. It's mental. It's fucking mental. But like you, literally have to give the entire team um, a hall pass. You know, yeah, you, you can't look another any other way than saying it's it's unprecedented in terms of what's happened to the side this year. You know, it's 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 just mental. Um, and I'm even thinking about it. If we'd strengthened up and, and, and bought another centre half, we still would have only had one fifth centre half and we still would have yeah. been taking somebody out of the middle of the park. Now, we probably should have, right? We probably should have. But um, we've taken our two most effective midfield players in terms of, you know, closing down, turning the ball over, protection, and we moved them back into the centre of the half. And not even, you know, and, and they've both had injuries throughout the season. So, it's it's absolutely <laughs> mental, and, and we're throwing Thiago in there. And to be honest with you, I don't think Thiago was brought in to play six. He wasn't, because we've got no. more effective players who can play six. To be honest with you, you yeah. know, I, I had a bit of a spat with somebody on Twitter who was basically said, "Oh, you haven't seen Thiago play for Bayern Munich," you know. But like, but he wasn't brought in to play six for us. He was brought in to play far more advanced to try and, yeah, yeah, you know, because we could see the way teams were going to set up against us, and that's what he was brought in there to do, you know. Um, and we haven't been able to do that. I think he played offensively against Chelsea in that first match and looked to be fantastic and then got injured, has come back in and has basically been playing a defensive role, to be honest with you. And I, I, I don't know, I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's the position for him in that league with the you know, with the amount of pressing that's done in that league now at the moment. No, um, no. He, he was he was caught out in possession for the first goal yesterday. Uh, poorly, you know, um, because yep. it just simply wasn't up to the pace of, of a derby, you know, very, very early doors. But it's it's the same thing with Jota. Jota has brought in to, to, to put pressure on the front three and and to I, I think to, to start looking towards breaking up that front three at some point in time. Um, listen, I absolutely love um, Bobby Firmino, but he he looks like he's yeah. It, it just looks like it's the accumulation of the, all the hard yards. Like he was brought in under Rogers and was pressing under Rogers. Like yeah, said, yeah. Five, six years now of. Yeah. High I, I, you're high taking press. the words out of my mouth, Keith. I was just about to say we must be on the same same uh, wavelength here because I was just about to say Bobby hasn't looked right for him over a season now. Plus, I think it's the last two or three seasons of this high press, this unbelievable, relentless, chasing down lost causes, 96th minute running after the ball. I think it has to take it out of you, physically and mentally. It, it does if you have if you can't rotate. You know, if you've got a decent enough squad there, and listen, I don't think the squad is 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 sufficiently not, strong not, enough not, to do not, that. Not, but like, I, watched, I watched City today, and City just squad chased and harried. Fucking... You know, they chased and they harried um, um, Arsenal over the pitch, and that's the way they've been playing. They've been yeah. playing the way we've been playing for the last two seasons. They took a season off last year, pretty much, weren't able to keep up that kind of pace. But they've, they've, they've been able to reinforce and they haven't had the same injury. So absolutely it takes its toll. But I still don't think it's, I think it's, I think it's, I'm not going to say too simple, or, but I think it's a lot more to it than just saying the lads are bollocks. Yeah, the lads are bollocks. They're bollocks yeah. because they, they haven't been able to rotate, you know. And and I think the front three have played 80 to 82 or 83% of, of all the games available to them yeah. to play over the last two to three seasons. So, yes, it takes its toll. Yes, it probably means they're a little bit stale all around the pitch. But, listen, we've had half our squad gone. Certainly half our first team squad for, for most of the season. So, yeah, of course, you know. And, and yeah. it's not going to get any better because you're going to see stuff happening like Hampton the Henderson yesterday, you know, where it is fatigue and you're going to see injuries like that come to the end of the season. So, it's, you know, I don't think there's an awful lot anybody can do um, until the summer. And then it's 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 a refresh yeah. strength and, and then go again like the thing about that side is that side did it for for two and a half years they know how to do it i fully expect them to come back and to be able to do it again once they're back up to full strength so it's really impossible to start saying oh yeah, we yeah. This we need to do that it's, you know? it's not it's not fatal I'm, I'm saying it's not fatal for this it season. is for this season for, yeah for this season but mm. it's not a fate it's not fatal for the group as, as Klopp calls them, the group 
Yeah. I still think there will be one or two big decisions to be made in the summertime, though. As you're saying there, Bobby, and obviously, you know, what you're going to do there. And there's a few bits of, I call them dead wood. I don't like calling anybody dead wood on the bench, but the, our bench just isn't strong enough, Keith, even when everyone's fit. I mean, look at City's so, bench. City's bench. You can play two teams. The, the problem I think we have is that if, if we have our, our group of 15 or 16, well, then it's as good as anybody's in, in Europe, to be honest with you. But you're never going to have Matip, Gomez, Keita, all of these yeah. guys, even Henderson, Allison. It's when have we had the entire group actually all fit, start to start to start to finish? We certainly didn't have it. We missed Allison for a good few games. We missed we missed obviously last year. We missed Gomez for a few games. Fabinho had a bit out. We we haven't had. There's a few players within that group who are susceptible to picking up injuries, and it doesn't seem to be a week or two out. It's four, five, six weeks out. You know, so yeah. So you need to take a look at that, to be honest with you. Now, you can be very unlucky with, with injuries as well. But, you know, there, there are players within that group who have a high propensity to, to pick yeah. up injuries. What, what did you think of the game? I mean, I, fair play to Everton. No, I said 22 years they haven't done it. They're, they're happy. They think they won the Champions League. I've seen the thing on Twitter. They're in the, da- in the dressing room ja- dancing around. Unbelievable. But they deserved it yesterday. I thought they were hungrier. They took their two chances. Uh, we didn't do enough going forward, Keith. We just didn't. They we picked for them one or two saves, but well, we weren't good enough. No, we're not good enough. Um, we're not good enough. Like you, everything is not good enough. Okay, we like Mane gets in. You see, did you see? Did you see Sterling's header today? Yeah. Sterling is five foot seven. He's five yeah. foot seven, but it's it's a right ball to the right player. You know, it's the right height, and he puts it away. Mane had two opportunities in the exact same position, but the ball was too high on both occasions. Now, last year, that ball is right on his head and he puts it away. So it's the confidence in the passing. It's the confidence in delivery into the box. It's the confidence in the first touch when they take the ball in the box. It's the running off players. Yeah. Everything is just gone. Everything. The whole chemistry of that side is just gone. It's gone to shit. They've just fallen off the edge of a cliff, right? And But I'm still going to give them a free pass. I'm still going to give that group a free pass because I know how good that group can be. It's it's as simple as that. You just can't judge them. It's impossible to judge. You know, yeah. no, we, no, got, we, we yeah. got to January. We got to January still being top of the league. Everyone talking about us probably going on and winning the league, and it's just all come 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 crashing down. Now, we, the other the other point about yesterday as well is that you know once Henderson went off, we we've, we've lost our captain, our vice captain, and our vice vice captain are all injured. So you know it's another one. Like who was who was on when we went three? Obviously Henderson was still on the pitch when we went oh. one down. But who's gonna? Yeah, there's, there's, no one, there's no one even talking, who, though, other than Henderson. You know what I mean? No, but who, who, who's on that? Who, who was left on the pitch there yesterday? Who's going to, you know, nobody drag that, that team by the spots? Yeah, nobody. To, That's to the problem. Out. Nobody. Nobody. No. But and I mean, even Young Kabak, even Young Kabak thrown in there. Now, he, he looked a bit ropey yesterday. It has to be fair. Rick Carlson made a show of him once or twice. I don't blame him either because he hasn't got a central, a natural centre defender like even Gomez or obviously Van Dijk beside him, you know, showing him the ropes or easing him in. He's playing beside the centre half or centre midfielder. Van Dijk wasn't Van Dijk wasn't Van Dijk at 20 years of age. You've got to keep throwing him in. If he's that good, you have to keep throwing him in. It's as simple as that. Oh, we've no choice first, to throw him in. First goal is, is a really poor turnover of possession. It's a stupid little fucking header. You know, yeah. um, and then it's, it's the ball is taken down and it's played in behind him. He doesn't even have time to react. I think it's very easy to scapegoat that that lad. To be honest with you, he looked good. He looked good at European level against against uh, Leipzig, Leipzig. You know, yeah. um, now obviously in a derby match, that's a baptism of fire, no matter what what way it is. Um, so I think you keep throwing him in. You keep throwing him in. To be honest with you, if he's that good, and 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 you know we, we we've still got the same high hopes for that lad, but then you keep throwing him in. It's as simple as that. You know. You look at John Stones there today over the last couple of games. He looks imperious, you know. Um, yeah. and you wouldn't have said that two or three seasons ago, would you? Definitely not. I thought oh. you should have got rid of him. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's, so been, like, he's been a rock for City. But I mean, yeah. like, you, know, you know what I mean? But I mean, listen, I'm not I'm not slagging Quebec. I'm just saying it's unfortunate for him the way things have turned out for us. I mean, we're defending a lot more than we used to be. Have to, to defend, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we're, not, we're not hitting them at the front. We're just not doing it. Um, I think there will be big changes in the summer, no matter what happens. Top four, it looks like it's going to be hard to get now, Keith, to be fair. Um, we're still I in the Champions League. I, I, I don't know. listen to them, You know, the, what we've got, West Ham five points ahead and Chelsea in around. We're going to have to go on a run. Um, we're going to have oh, to go yeah. on a significant run, to be honest with you. And we're probably going to need to be everybody we need to play in and around us for the rest of the season. And, and, and they'll be all big six-pointers. Um to be able to get there, but it is looking, it is looking, it is looking, it is looking difficult for us, to be honest with you, it really is. 
we've got Sheffield United the weekend and Fulham the following week. There's there's two games now. I don't yeah, I think if there. we don't win them, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know whether we just kind of start taking a look at it to really kind of say, listen, do you know what, um, take the shackles off and maybe we play pre, pre-DVD pre um, or uh, pre-Virgil type football whereby, yeah. you know, chances are we're going to concede one, maybe two. So maybe we go all out and we go looking for two or three every game and it's gung-ho fucking football, you know, go for it. Just go yeah, for it, maybe. you know. I don't know whether that's club though, do you? But, it was um, a lot before Virgil, to be honest, which we had a lot of those results now where there was four threes. And, that was you know, 17, 18 season, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. like sometimes you've just got to play to your strengths. And I'm saying that, but the front three have to step up and start taking their chances as well, you know. Well, no team even even do that. Mane hasn't looked right. I know what you mean. But even get maybe Phillips. Phillips was okay yesterday um, when he came on. And yeah. maybe play Quebec with Phillips and get Fabinho, who looks like he might be back next week, into bloody midfield. Yeah. You know, what I mean? and just go for it that way. Jota hopefully up front maybe for Bobby. Something like that and just go for it. As you said, we've yeah. nothing to lose now. No, we've nothing to lose. And I think we need to listen. We don't know how we're going to get out of them or how long we're going to get out of them. But I think Keita needs to be introduced into that side just in Keita terms of as well. breaking, you know, as breaking well. the lines and beating that, that first line of defence. We've nobody who can dribble past players. Nobody. It's all yeah. very safe. I know what you mean. No one in midfield go by no. anybody, you know. No. no. You know, um, and, and I think Jones as well, when he came into the side force, he was beating players with a mojo there. And then that he mm-hmm. seems to have gone very nervous on the ball now as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, listen, we're going to keep this short and sweet. Um, we didn't course as much as I thought we would have, to be fair. But as you said, it's probably expensive. none left. It's not. A, it's you, not a shock. You used it all yesterday. Um, I, I got my, sure. I got two or three warnings from uh for, for my wife. Uh, oh, watching the match yesterday. Sake. Yeah. <laughs> well, then enough. You're in trouble. Enough. Right. Just children anyway. in the house. Know, children yeah, in the I know. It's, fuck, it's fucking crazy times we're living through. Keith, we'll leave it at that. We'll do something maybe midweek. We'll definitely do something for the Sheffield United game, obviously. But uh, stay safe. Talk yeah, to you soon. Too. Take care. All right. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Dave. Take care. Bye bye. Nice one.